Volcano erupted in southwestern Iceland in recent days, its sixth eruption since late last year, Icelandic officials said, as a nearby town, which has remained largely empty since the previous eruption, and a world-famous geothermal spa were evacuated once again. Volcanologists in Iceland closely monitor volcanic activity, using a combination of seismic data, GPS measurements, and satellite imagery to predict eruptions. Before an eruption, the movement of magma underground causes small earthquakes and ground deformation, giving scientists warning signs of an impending event. The Icelandic Meteorological Office said a nearly 2.5-mile-long fissure was spewing lava on the Reykjanes Peninsula near the fishing town of Grindavik. Belt officials noted the lava flow was unlikely to affect the town. The lava flow has slowed slightly since peaking a few days ago and seismic activity has quickly decreased since a second fissure opened, the agency said, adding that gas pollution was heading toward the Icelandic capital, Reykjavik. Iceland's foreign ministry said the impact of the eruption was limited to the immediate area and did not pose a threat to life as Grindavik, a town of about 6,000 people, had been evacuated and international and domestic flights were unlikely to be disrupted. Vitor Reynason, Iceland's director of civil protection, said the volcano did not pose an immediate threat to infrastructure, though officials were still assessing possible damage, according to RUV, Iceland's public broadcaster. The Blue Lagoon, a popular geothermal spa in Grindavik, said Monday that it had been evacuated and would be temporarily closed. Several evacuations have been issued for Grindavik since the eruption in December, and between 10 and 50 residents have reportedly remained in the town despite warnings from officials. The Icelandic Meteorological Office has warned of gas pollution from volcanic eruptions in the country. Sulfur dioxide, a toxic gas released during an eruption, can cause severe irritation to the respiratory system, eyes and skin, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Icelandic officials say the gas can be lethal in high enough concentrations over a long period of time for those with asthma. Iceland experiences several volcanic eruptions and earthquakes each year due to its position on tectonic plates. Thursday's eruption was Iceland's sixth since December, following eruptions in February, March and May, the last of which lasted until late June. In December, a volcano on the Reykjanes Peninsula erupted after weeks of thousands of earthquakes, prompting Iceland to evacuate Grindavik and the Blue Lagoon. Tourism to the country has reportedly declined since the latest series of eruptions.